In this video, I'm going to work out um, just another definite integral problem, and it's going to involve a natural log of x, and we'll have some e's there as our limits of integration. So to start with here, I've got the integral um, running from e to e squared, and we're integrating 1 over x natural log of x dx. So looking at this, hopefully you're going to realize that you do need to do a u substitution. All right, and I'm going to let my u be the natural log of x because its derivative is going to be 1 over x. Okay, so I'm going to let u be natural log of x. All right, when I take the derivative of both sides, I'll have a du equals a 1 over x dx. And then when I solve for dx, I'm going to multiply both sides by x, so then I will have an x du is equal to a dx. Okay. Now I'm going to come up here and then I'm going to take away my limits of integration because this equation is in terms of x, so these are limits of integration for x. And at this point, what I'm going to do to this integral is I'm going to start doing my substitutions. I'm going to have a mixture of x's and u's in there, so I definitely do not want limits of integration for x on this part of the problem. So I'm going to have my 1. The x is going to stay there. I'm going to replace the natural log of x there with u. I'm going to replace the dx with an x du. Okay, at this point I'm going to see what crosses out. Looks like my x's cross out, so this x and this x is going to go away. That's going to leave me with the integral of 1 over u du. Okay, and note I am in terms of u right here. That's why I do not put these limits of integration for x over here. Okay, I'm going to do the integration, get it back in terms of x before I put those limits of integration for x back in the problem. So when I integrate 1 over u du, hopefully you've got that memorized at this point as being the natural log absolute value of u plus c. Now I can replace my u with what it is. So then I'm going to have natural log absolute value, let's make that kind of a little bigger, natural log of x, and then plus c. Okay, now that right there is um, just an indefinite integral for that right there. Now, I do have to realize here I am wanting a definite integral. I Since I have this in terms of x, now I can evaluate it with e and e squared. So natural log absolute value, natural log x, and I'm going to evaluate that at e and e squared because these are limits of integration for x and my equation now is all back in terms of x. Okay, um, let's come up here to finish this. Alright, so we're going to be plugging in an e to the second. So I'm going to have uh, natural log, absolute value, natural log of e to the second. Alright, and then minus plugging in e, I'm going to have natural log, absolute value, natural log of e. Okay, now you can do this all without a calculator, hopefully. All right, um, natural log of e squared, natural log of e is 1, so then it's going to be the exponent. You can think of it a lot of different ways. I call it jumping the frog. I can jump that 2 down in front by laws of logarithms, and I've got 2 times the natural log of e. Natural log of e is 1, so in here this is going to give me a 2. So natural log of 2, and then minus. Over here, I have just a simple natural log of e. Natural log of e is 1, so then I'm going to have natural log of 1. Now, I can go a little bit farther than this. Natural log of 2 minus natural log of 1. Hopefully, you have memorized as being 0. So this is going to simplify all the way down to natural log of 2. Okay, so definitely just one real quick example of a definite integral that's got a natural log in it and some E's for my limits of integration there. Definitely thanks for watching. Don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.